Okay, good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for having me again. It's my seventh gathering. Um, people who've seen my previous talks will have noticed a consistent theme throughout my entire history of giving talks at the gathering. So medieval French poetry is perfectly in line with that. Um, I recently gave a talk about this in Lyon in France, so I was in the position of explaining medieval French poetry to French people. Um, normally, I claim to represent or to be the Pisa University Fraud Department, but this year I'm pretending to be the ELHP, which has a logo and everything now. Um, more details on that later. Um, I don't need to ask you about the rule of three because I've already done that. So the, I've brought five books. The most famous of them is this one. Um, the name, as you can see, means something like words of the hours, root and branch, which means some kind of complete development of whatever words of the hours are. This is clearly a reference to books of hours from medieval times. Uh, how many people here have seen this book before? It's reasonably popular. Okay, lovely. Um, <clears throat> so an example of a poem from this book is this. And uh, there are 40 poems in the book, and they all come with translations and explanations, because the French is really quite inaccessible. And um, when I've asked real French people, they've said, this French is very strange. Is it medieval or something? <laughs> um, so I will read this to you later and apologize to any native French speakers present. Um, but let's show you the, the explanation so that you know what you're listening to. So the Gilles, we, are, we see an explanation here, is a stock character who's usually some kind of a fool. While hoeing, he uncovers a mole and part of a seed. Quickly finished, I call to the limping man that every pitcher has a crack in it. Is it a Chinese cabbage? Uh, he enjoys a life of pleasure and a carriage. Now, this is quite peculiar stuff. Medieval France was clearly a, an odd place. I will now attempt to read the poem to you. The introduction of the book explains that the best way to appreciate these poems is to have them read aloud. Chacun gile ou une taupe de hill, to fait j'appelle au boiteur. Chaque fell down on broke his crown, on gile came tombali na fetar. That's, that's, that, that says it all, really, doesn't it? It's quite deep stuff. Now, for the benefit of people here who are not native English speakers, what's really going on here is that this is a traditional rhyme for children. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. And everything in this book is like this. So as an exercise for the reader, what is this? And the book explains that this is a moral precept addressed to a young girl about keeping her heart pure until the knot of marriage is tried by staying out of lush hayfields. <laughs> Which, it seems like sound advice. If you want... Oh, and what is the title of the book? It is, of course, Mother Goose Rhymes, which is the name of a traditional collection of nursery rhymes. If you want more of the same, there are two sequels, uh, one called Nursery Rhymes and one which is a collection of verses by the well-known French author William Shakespeare. Um, but we also have a German poetry, Moder Guss Rhymes. An example of that would be this one, Grismus is coming, the geese are getting fat. Please put a penna in the whole man's hat. Deep stuff, what does it mean? Um, a foundry worker is eating mashed up gruel up a chimney and complains that he or possibly the gruel is going stale and calls on someone to polish the turkey in the doss house. I mean, that's, that's quite clear. Um, and there's also a book called Anguish Language from the 50s, which is doing this from English to English. Uh, I don't know how legible that is, so I've retyped it. Uh, ladle Rat Rotten Hut, which is a well-known story. Uh, once pawn term, there was did Ladle Gull, who lift with a murder in a ladle cordage on a itch off a lodge dot forest. Disc Ladle Gull, often worry putty ladle, rat cluck with a ladle rat hut, and for disc raisin, pimple called a Ladle Rat Rotten Hut. One moaning, Ladle Rat Rotten Hut's murder, colder inset. Ladle Rat Rotten Hut, heresy ladle, basking with some burder butter and shir shirker cockles, and, and so on. Uh, I've got all five of these books here. If you want to come and examine them, please do. Um, and a description of the origins and objectives of the ELHP are my exchange gift this year. The whole thing was inspired by a conversation between my sister-in-law and a sculptor that she went to interview as part of a master's degree in art. Um, and it's one of these real-world maths problems things where two people who aren't mathematicians talk about wanting to do something, and you think, maths can help with that. And so maths helping with that is what the ELHP is all about. And uh, as um, Murder Goose Rams says on the final page, tiens de. 